Okay, you know how I will never cut or glue in front of you? Today is not that day. Today I will cut and glue in front of you because we're doing paper dolls. So this is what I call paper dolls and I showed you the stuff I was using. So now we're going to glue them all together. So I'm going to make this look like, and I left that um, big extra part of her thumb so that I would have room to stick this carefully to the back of American Pharaoh, right? So you don't have to stop at where it is, especially if you know you're going to be gluing it behind something. All right. So let's go up to here. We'll stick American Pharaoh on there. You can see his little tummy. And, oh, do we have, yep, we have baby wipes. Oh, here's a wet one. So we're gonna clean the glue off of this as we go. There's my wet, there's my dry. All right, now I want to glue her hand onto his back. So we just need to get the places where the hand would be, right? All right, there we go. Now, I did not cut out between his feet because his legs are very delicate, right? So, if, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with her right now, with with American Pharaoh right now, but if I was going to put him, say, on a page like this, I would wait until I was getting ready to stick him down before I would do him. But that's why I call him Paper Dolls, because this is going to be just in my thing, and sometime American Pharaoh is going to be the perfect solution to my problem. All right, here's another. Oh, I have a whole bunch of these guys. So this is a little pack, so I have this one hand. Remember we had this hand? I didn't have anything special to do with it, so it's just gonna go in my box of goodies. And then I cut these apart, and look, this girl has hands. Oh, and so what I did with her shirt, her skirt came way over her arm. So if you were to cut this where you can see the black, her arm would look really skinny, same here. But what you can do is you can just color in with black on that, and then this is gonna be her waist. See, you can see her waist. And then these legs, I can almost guarantee you, I'm gonna cut here and make little fun feet somewhere. But what I did learn from doing this for a while is if I cut these two little feet apart, I am going to lose them, okay? This lady, again, with her hands, I left her fingers there because they're very delicate. I didn't cut them out. And here is another example of, remember I really like these little feet? What I did was I came up and I made her bigger legs and I could even make her legs all the way up to the top, but I left them hooked together so I don't lose her feet, okay? All right, here we go. We have this one. Why do I have big lips? I don't need big lips. This must have just, oh, it's the bottom of this picture. Okay, so this is just some big lips to have in my people stash. And now we're gonna do this one. This is gonna be kind of fun. So we need to, and these glasses are gonna go on this girl's head. We need to figure out See, I think the eyes can go right inside the glass, right? So we can kind of go end to end with a little bit of eyelashes. So the first thing we need to do is we need to cut, and I try never to get too close until it's time, right? Okay, so let's see how we want this. And we're gonna cut this one off so we can see this one. Not too close. Okay, do we want them near the top? They're slightly not the same size because the... 
glasses were slightly skewed. Okay, so we could do them straight. We could do them a little canted. I kind of like that. What do you think? A little like turned up. Okay, I'm going to do that. A little turned up. So, something you can do is if you really like where they are, um, you can take a little piece of washi tape. Okay, let's put them back. Okay, cute, we like them. Do we want this a little bit, a teeny bit closer? Okay. okay. All right, I think that's just how I want it. Okay, so now we are gonna glue these glasses. And I am using Nouveau Glue. St Doggy, stop. It was the neighbor, Maxie. And I often wonder if you guys think sometimes that I should stop filming when the dogs are barking or the cat is catting or the, the kids are talking or the husband's doing something. Honestly, if I had to wait for that occurrence, I could never make any videos. So we have two choices. We have either putting up with all this stuff or I can just do it by myself and I never get to talk to you, which I would make me sad. Okay, so now we're gonna get this nice and flat. We're gonna use our, is this one really dry? This one's really dry. I'm gonna use my really dry baby wet. Oh, see, we don't wanna pull that out of shape. We just wanna really delicately put this down. And to you, this may feel like a lot of futzing over a pair of eyeglasses, but to me, I think these eyeglasses are really cool. And they're gonna be a big part of this collage. So I don't mind taking a wee minute to do it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off all this excess. And now I won't cut right this second because that glue is wet. And we know already that there was some glue seeping out. So we're just gonna leave that for a hot minute. Look, I got glue all over my stuff. And come back to it. But we know that this, these glasses were kind of for this girl's eyes, right? Right. Okay, so I got this for the purple page. I found a whole bunch of purple stuff for the purple page. This is just a fun, you know, this could be a headpiece. If we have one that's really low, we could put this sticking out of her head if we need something. But this is just a little extra piece that we're going to be using. Oh, I found some more pink stuff, so I cut out. It was on the back of one of the other pages. Okay, here's the Karens. And I have a concern. So first off, I love these um, Karens. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with them, but I got this little guy, look at him. He's just the cutest thing. And I was gonna put him on the Karens, right? So for me, I'm not super whimsical. So when you add funky little guy to a pile of stones, I almost think I'm going to, and I'm going to glue the funky little guy together because this was two pages. I didn't cut this apart. This was cut apart when I got it. And you're going to be able to see the little bit of weirdness where it goes together, but anybody who sees this is never going to know because we're going to trim it so it fits perfectly. I just need his little smile to be perfectly in the middle. Go stick that down real good. Stick this down real good. Get the glue off with our weddy. Okay. And I have his weird little hands. So you could, if you're super whimsical and fun, 
Ooh, I don't want to get this wet. You could put him on here and put his little hands on here and make a super fun and whimsical guy. The problem for me is, and I don't hate it. I mean, I, I could definitely do it. But the problem for me is I'm much less whimsical. I would much rather have his head on a um, normal person's body with funny arms and then have a normal person's head on this because they're both whimsical, right? I got to have some reality. So we're going to put these two off to the side and see what we have coming up. All right. We got a good one coming up. All right, this one, so most of them, I don't make the um, paper dolls for the page. I just make them paper dolls, and then I stick them on a page. But this one we know has a page, right? We have a black and white page in here somewhere. All right, so we've got stuff. We have this head that's very long, right? So that is going to be a trouble. We have this body, and I left this neck on here in case we need a neck. And that'll probably go boop, 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 right up to there. And then we have a plethora of legs we could use. Okay, I have this clock too, so we don't get so distracted by this middle. And then we have a whole bunch of legs we could use. We could use those legs. Those are cute. I think that those are very snazzy and cool. We have those legs that are a lighter color that kind of match this better, I almost think. I wasn't sure about these legs, but I feel like they match better. And for this, okay, so I have two necks, right? I have the neck that's up here that I left on this lady, and I have this neck. So if I were going to use these legs that are darker, I would cut off her head and use this dark neck. Okay, does that make sense? I'd probably draw a little bit of black up in there to meet it. But if I'm going to use these light-colored legs, then I'm going to... Um, I'm going to cut this off and use her light colored neck. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, and then I was wondering if I'm going to leave this, but I'm probably not. I'm probably going to, here, we'll do it together. We shall do it together. So the first thing I need to do is she has a shoulder here, so I need to make her a shoulder here, right? And I'm just going to come over to this little curly cue of hair. And I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to make this the edge of her hair. Because I know that at some point she had some that went behind her head or something like that. But for right now, I'm just going to make that shoulder. And then she has pokey things. So we know they're about an inch and a half long. So we're gonna come out here and do that. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here, tighten that up a little bit. And I'm gonna cut them out of this side. So now I need to cut all of these. And what happens is sometimes it's easy to get thinking, well, somebody will notice that those aren't the same color as the rest of the pokey things, right? And I, what I want you to do is as soon as I get done with this, and, and you know that they were a different color, right? As soon as I get done with this, I want you to look and to think about if you didn't know that, would you ever even think that? And no is the answer, right? It's a giant Statue of Liberty lady with um, a huge head of hair, and she's going to have a perfume bottle body. So I don't think there's as much of a, um, a problem with some of this stuff as we feel because we're in the weeds with it, right? We're right in there doing it. And we knew what it looked like, but nobody else does. So don't worry about that. 
Oh no. Okay, we saved it. Okay, so this is going to go here. Now, the next thing we need to think about, and I have a whole bunch of legs. So I have these legs. So if we wanted longer legs, we could do longer legs and move this up. But the problem with that is it's kind of hard. It really is kind of, first off, her head is very long. And second off, it's kind of hard to get this bend. What is this? Oh, it's the stuff I just cut off. Uh, it's kind of hard to get the bend to bend. So I don't want to waste these cool long legs on this. I think for sure I'm going to use these cute legs. I'm going to use this middle and I'll probably turn it upside down so it's not so in your face. I'm going to cut off this neck that I had left because I don't need it. And now I'm going to see if I want to make his body a little, or her body a little skinnier, right? So there's a bunch of different things I could do. I could um, kind of make this body shaped, right? But that's not really the point. So what I do when I do this, I'm going to go right along the edge of the bottle. I'm just going to take the tiniest bit off. I'll show you how much I took off. I'm gonna follow the lines of that bottle because I don't know how it's supposed to be shaped. And there, I took off that much. I'm gonna come over here. And I'm gonna take off that much again, right? That much. And let's see if I like that. Okay, now the other thing we can do is we know we don't need shoulders anymore. We're just gonna have curls. All right, that's gonna be barking because my kids are home from school. I know, I know it's the kids, honey. Yeah, but the kids came home. Okay, I like that night word. First off, I have to make this spike pointier or I have to get rid of it because it's bothering me. There we go. I like that night word. So if I'm going to do this, I'm going to turn this and I'm going to keep his head like that. I almost want a skinnier neck. I don't like that the neck is just kind of right on the edge. And when I do the neck, I kind of taper it in. And I think I have part of her chin, which is making me not like it as much. Okay, so let's do that. And then I just kind of come and mimic whatever I did over there, over here. Right, I'm tapering it in and just cut until I can feel I'm on the edge of something. Oh, that's good. That looks, that to me looks much better. Okay. I almost feel like, where's that thing go? I almost feel like, do I want a little transition? Maybe not that whole thing, but a little transition from the bottle to the neck. Ooh, I almost think that. Okay, so we're gonna do that. That way it's not just so her neck sitting on this giant blob of thing, but I also didn't want that much black in there. Okay, get it about middle. Okay, we could even tip it a teeny bit, cheat it. Okay, all right, so there's that. Here's this. Okay, part of what's messing me up is we don't need this shoulder anymore. Oh, see? That looks so much better. Okay, so that fits in great. Do I want it to be a little bit skinnier? I can only go so skinny because I have the clock 
and I have this weird leg. I could go a titch skinnier. I just feel like it's kind of taking up a bunch of the air in this piece, and I don't want it to just be a huge black box. Now you might like a huge black box. You get to do whatever you want. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's put this on here, put that on there. Did you get Josiah? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Desi's here, she didn't scare me today. Hateful child. What do you think? This is from Granby Jim and Poppy Max, a magazine. Sounds like medieval times. It's the Statue of Liberty with hair. That's weird. Pretty fancy, huh? That's weird. Okay. Well, we love it. She and loves got, it. He's got Ghostbusters and some food. Uh huh. It's going to be a cool one. All right, so I have some other things that we can put on here to make this fun. This is this is from the uh, from the play wig stock. So we could put this on here. Oh, remember we want to cover up that omega. We could maybe do that. We also have you'll flip your wig and maybe put that up there, or put it around somewhere. Um, what I do want to do, so I want to, now that I know that this is going to be white and this is going to be gray, is I want to get some more dark colors. I might even go over this one. So I'm going to finish this frame before I get done with this. Oh, I have one more thing to show you. Got to put my head back. Okay, so it's okay that she doesn't have arms, but I did have, so I can put these two guys away two legs, and then I did have these legs, right, that I cut off from another side. They're still hooked together. Let's see, I have arms. So we could give her arms if we wanted to. I don't think these arms do anything for her. We might stay on the lookout for some arms, but I think overall we have a really good start for this one, and I'm going to, um, for sure, do some more um, backgrounds, darker backgrounds. So this is what I do when I get this far. I will take these, I will put them in here, and I will paper clip them to the page they're gonna go on, like that, okay? So we got that. All right, let's go back to making paper dolls. All right, here's another one. I'm just putting them in the order that I had them, that I cut them out with. So I think this lady's hair is amazing. So I'm gonna keep this hair to kind of give me an idea if I wanna do a bang and a, and a side thing, um, but I don't have anything for it yet. This lady would need some sunglasses or some different eyes. Um, so I don't know yet, and we could put like a hand in front of her if we wanted to. I don't know yet what I'm doing with her, but I may keep these lips. I think I have maybe another lip thing I need. And I feel like I need more heads. I'm, I'm, I don't have enough heads for this. Um, but I thought this would make a really good body sometime. And you could put any kind of legs on this body, right? And just bring it in, do whatever you need to do. So that isn't a firm thought yet, but I'm working on it. That's the top of the um, thing. Okay, here we go. Here's one. Where's the one? Oh, that's going to be a hard one. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty easy one. We need to figure this out, though. So this is a sweater, right? And while sweaters look really cute on people, if you put this on something, it makes a shapeless blob. So what I often do with sweaters is I, um, I cut the arms as if it's not there. Okay, so watch. I'm going to give her a waist. It's so funny. Whenever I do this, I think back to my mom who was always like, you need to wear that sweater with a way 
you need to make a waist and that way you look skinnier. And as I make all little waists for my people, I'm like, oh my goodness, my mother was right. That's just horrifying. All right, so now she has an actual arm, right? Instead of just a blob. And over here, we're gonna come over to where a sweater would be and we're gonna make her a skinnier waist, right? There you go. Now she has a skinnier waist and she has two arms, which is delightful. Everybody should have two arms. So now we have this girl and I am totally going to use her hat, hat and her hair. I don't know what I'm gonna do with her face yet. I'm gonna have to, to really change it. Do we wanna put this girl's lip? I don't love big lips on faces. I would change her lips, but um, I don't love people with big, big lips. Um, but I have to do something to make her less recognizable, but I love her hair. Um, so now for this girl, I need to decide, is she going to have these legs? Is she going to have these legs? Or is she going to have different legs. So I don't think I know enough about what I'm going to do with this lady's face yet. So I will put these together. We're going to pick a page for her. So she's functionally just black and white, right? So she would show up really good on this yellow page. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get her piggy tail all the way in the page because we don't want it to get hurt, right? And we're going to put this together with a couple paper clips and clip it right in this page. So we kind of know what we're doing. We don't know yet. And I'm going to do another video where we add more stuff to these pages, right? Because right now I like my people to be doing something, um, not just make a collage. I like them to have I don't know, I'm just such a puritanical, you know, born. They have to have a job, so we're gonna do that. Okay, now on this one, I think we do do this. these fun girls on here. This is the last one. It's so funny, I did all that cutting and I'm like, this is the last one. So we have those two girls and because they're exactly the right size faces, I was willing to use a sideways girl um, I would hardly ever use a sideways girl. So now I have a ton of different, and I, and I wanted these two girls so that I could use these fun um, same shoes, right? So this is, this is entirely why I picked this. So these are going to be these two girls. And I have different bodies for them if I need them. So I have this body that I could use if I wanted. Oh, I almost wish we hadn't cut that off, but I can pull that, I can can make that go all the way up and just put some stripes or something on that. And then I could put this, or I could put this body on this girl. Oh, I kind of almost like that better. Put this body on this girl and this body on this girl right oh that's cute oh i kind of love that okay so oh i think that came out perfect okay so i want this body just the way this is so i am going to I just happened to like the way it, it showed up like that. Um, so I am going to glue her down right like that. And remember, this girl actually came on a body where she was all bent over hanging on a railing. But now, um, she's almost facing both the wrong ways, right? 
Um, so this girl is good. Let's glue her on here. All right. All right. And then I can cut. I didn't glue all the way to the edge. So I can cut that little piece off without ruining my scissors. So I love her. And then we're going to put this girl on here. I'm going to get as long a dress as I can get. I'm going to glue the bottom of this. Remember how I told you I'm a better cutter than a drawer? Wait till you see what we're going to do. So, it kind of looks okay, right? Like, it kind of looks okay because her hands are coming down on that skirt. So, if you're fine with that, this would be okay. But for me, I kind of want to cut this in a little bit so that it looks like it's coming up to a waist, right? And that was just a tiny bit of a cut. I'm just making a little bit more definition, and then I'm going to do that same thing over here and just bring this up a little bit. And then she's just more of a little kind of saucy girl. Okay, so these girls, oh, look, they're even the same height. Okay, so what that tells me is I either need to find a longer neck or I need to just draw in necks for these two girls because they, um, they're going to be the same, right? Actually, this girl's a little taller, so we might move it down a little bit. Um, but see how this came together? Sometimes they just come together, right? I was like, I don't know about this. I don't know about that. But these two girls came together perfectly. Now, we could see if we could swap them around. If they could be holding, if they could be hugging, which might look cute. Oh, I kind of like that because now it really emphasizes the fact that her legs are on backwards. So I will probably do this one this way. I want to get some more green to go behind before I do that. And again, oh, this might be a really good place. Doo, doo, doo. Hang on, hang on. There it is. This might be a really good place to put this green thing, or I might want something more contrasty. And also, 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 this could be a good place to start putting some hats on people using that and then putting something outside their head. So I have to find them different eyes anyways. Um, and there's a very slight chance I could just swap their eyes, but especially with them being so strangely shaped, I don't want to mess with that. Um, There's a slight chance I might even just have them not have eyes. I've never done that before, but it's definitely something that I could consider doing. Maybe put an animal that comes out of the top that has eyes or something like that. So I'm not sure about these. Oh, and then I have extra boots. So like the same way, I, this is how my mind works. Oh, eyes, boots. Ooh. Okay. So this one, I cut some legs up for these guys, these boots, and I could just color them black, but I left them hooked together because they, um, I don't want to lose them, right? Okay, so I'm going to put this back with my Karens. I'm going to put these girls on this page because we know they're going to go here. I need some more backgrounds. Um, so I make my paper dolls, but I also don't put them together right away until I'm sure what I'm going to do with them. I just like them to be safe and secure in their page. That little foot's going to stick over. Um, but it's not like I'm having a party with this. And what I'll do is I'll get probably those three pages all set and ready to go. Oh, we're back to our eyeballs. So let's go finish our eyeballs. 
and I'll show Oh, I do have my old lady glasses. I was going to say we can't do it, but I do have my old lady glasses. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, we're going to come around here. And I am cutting this pretty carefully, and I did cut it pretty carefully to start with because these are kind of delicate um, eyeglass frames. Sometimes I'm kind of a beast, and I'm like, it doesn't matter. But on this one, I feel like it does matter a little bit. Because we want this to be cute. Oh, there's strife in the family. They're accusing each other of giving each other upset stomachs. It's going to turn to blows. It's going to turn to fisticuffs soon. Okay, maybe it won't. Is that you? Hmm. Now I'm just imagining people coming to scare me. That's sad. That's sad. Okay, so we're almost done with this, and then I can stick those down on the um, on the page. But I wanted to show you how this turns out. All right, I'm almost done. Like I said, watching me cut stuff out is not the most exciting thing that human beings could do. Always hold your scissors at the best angle for you and turn your paper, not your scissors. That is my public service announcement for today. There you go. Look how cute those look on her. And we're going to make her... <clears throat> Really big eyelashes, but those are amazing on her. So, ooh. Does she have the Karens? She might be the Karens. I don't know, I don't know yet. But these glasses turned out excellent. So that is how I make my paper dolls. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, artsy fartsy life.